Okay, so let's say you want to try fitting both a um, predicted function and a um, experimental function onto your graph in Logger Pro. So if you had a function that you you know developed in your hypothesis and you want to compare it to the one you have for your data, um, you can do that and it's not too tricky. So let's say we have a, a data set like I have here and I want to try fitting, let's do my experimental function first, so I'll just do curve fit. Um, this, I'm actually expecting to see a line, so I could have just hit the line fit button. But anyway, in curve fit here, I can come in. It's already selected for a proportional or a linear fit. I don't want an intercept, so I'm just going to use this one. I'm going to do try fit. And there I have a nice line. Um, right now the computer has guessed a value for that um, constant that I have here for A. Um, and the value of that is, it's actually hard to see because this thing's in the way, there it is, 2.026. Um, so it's trying to fit a line that sort of best corresponds with my data um, using something called linear regression. But anyway, this is the, this is the uh, slope right here, 2.026, and I'm going to go ahead and fit that. Looks pretty good. Um, and now I'm going to try and fit another function where I am going to tell the computer what the slope is. So let's go ahead and do curve fit again. I want the same kind of function, but now I'm going to put in my predicted value for that coefficient. Now my hypothesis, let's say that I predicted that the value of that should be 2. So what I can do now is instead of just clicking try fit here, um, I can come in and I can do manual. So what I need to do here is after clicking manual, come in and actually tell it what I want the number to be. So I'm going to tell it 2, and I am going to go ahead and push OK. And there we go. I have another line. It's a little bit different than my first line, almost the same. Um, but this is with the coefficient that I predicted. And you can do this for other kinds of functions, too. All right.